Hey, welcome back. I think the last video, live video, the internet failed, uh, but we're back online. Thanks for joining me here. Um, we're looking at the seventh saying of Jesus from the cross, the final one. We've been doing this series on the seven sayings of Jesus. Yesterday it was, it is finished. Um, and uh, I pray that you'll experience it is finished in your life. It is finished is uh, one word that is the greatest news that anyone who put their faith in Jesus um, can hear it is finished paid in full it's one word because in the original Greek it's one word paid in full tetelestia it's it's done and um, and uh, that was the good news for yesterday but today we look at the seventh saying of Jesus and we find this in Luke chapter 23 and verse uh, verse 50 46 and Jesus, it says, on the cross, it says, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I entrust my spirit. And then he breathed out his last. The last thing Jesus said is, I trust you, God. I trust you, Father. I trust that all the plans, the promises, um, the work you sent me to do, it is finished and I trust you with it. Jesus trusted his Father on the cross as he died. And the challenge to you and I is, will we trust him? between the crucifixion and the resurrection because between the crucifixion and the res the resurrection while we're waiting for resurrection while we were waiting for the fulfillment of the promise the thing that you've got to do is trust and rest and I want us to quickly look at what the early disciples and particularly these women recorded in Luke after Jesus said I trust you father what did they do how did they trust what did trust look like for them well, we read just a bit further in Luke 23, verse 56. It says, it was the preparation day. So the day that Jesus was buried, crucified and buried was what was called the preparation day. It was the day before the Sabbath. And Jesus would rise on the third day after the Sabbath. So it was a day of preparation. It, this was the preparation day, the day Jesus was crucified. Oh, what amazing preparation was taking place. Um, it was preparation day and the Sabbath was about to begin. And then it says, And the woman who came with him from Galilee followed him and observed the tomb. As you're looking at the tomb, as you're looking at the, the, the Christ who had been crucified and died and buried, as, you, as they were observing it, this is what they did. It says, And they returned and prepared spices and perfumes. And then it says, And they rested on the Sabbath according to the commandment. Here's the thing you've got to do between the crucifixion and the resurrection is Sabbath day. They rested according to the commandment. One of the greatest challenges is to rest while you're waiting for the promise to be fulfilled. The challenge to rest. And this is what the Sabbath is. Rest, a Sabbath rest isn't just taking a break from what you're doing. It's a trust that God will do what he promised to do. Um, I mean, if you look at what Sabbath meant in the Old Testament, Sabbath wasn't just a taking off and doing nothing. Sabbath was trusting. It was trusting that God would do something on that Sabbath, th seventh day that he didn't do on any other day. Right? You would, they would collect food the day before and that food wouldn't rot. It would last on that day, different to any other day. So trusting... Resting on the Sabbath is the greatest expression of trust. It's trusting that God will work, will do what he said he would do, what he promised. So I want to encourage you as you, as we're in this Saturday, as we're in this in-between crucifixion and re resurrection, I want to encourage you to trust, to trust that God's promise will come to pass. That God would do what he said he would do. As you observe the two, maybe you're looking at something that's dead in your life. Something that all you have is a promise. You don't have the thing. All you're looking is you're observing the two, but you have a promise. I want to encourage you, friend. Will you trust God? Rest today trusting that God is working while you're waiting. That his promise is yes and amen. His promise will come to pass. Um, this is the great challenge and the opportunity of this Saturday, this in between the crucifixion and the resurrection. You know, rest isn't doing nothing. It's doing the right thing in the right strength at the right time. And today is a day to trust. Maybe the application for you and I is for us to go back and 
and ask ourselves what are what is the promise of god and today in this day on this sabbath day on this in between day rest in that promise say god i trust you and say the words of jesus that he said from the cross father into your hands i trust my spirit as you do that i pray an incredible peace is going to come over your life as you rest and of course we look back and we know the resurrection happened we know that god is faithful to his promise and in the same way he was faithful to his promise i pray that you will experience him faithful to his promise um, because it is finished it is finished the penalty of sin is finished condemnation is finished over your life separation from god is finished the veil has been torn um, fear and worry and anxiety is finished it's over condemnation is over and so i speak over your life trust your spirit your life to god because his promise is true friend rest in him on this day between the crucifixion and the resurrection god bless you love you lots and i pray that tomorrow as you celebrate resurrection sunday um, you will know that God is the one who always watches over his word and performs it and fulfills it. Um, so God bless you. Hope you can join somewhere tomorrow. Um, we're going to be doing a big communion after our online service on Zoom. If you're part of our community or if you haven't got anywhere to go, join us and uh, celebrate. And remember what God has done. And as you do, know that he is one who fulfills his promises. While you're waiting, trust in him. God bless you. Have a fantastic day.